Well, now the class is recording, so let's start. Well, my friends, good evening, everybody. Welcome. Today, we are going to finish talking about past tense. Okay? In the last class, we were talking about that. So, let's answer some questions, okay? In simple past, we use the auxiliary did to make questions. Okay? So, let's start with... Tell me, yes, I did or no, I did. Only that, okay? Alexander, did your pet stay at home all day yesterday? Oh, but in this case, my friends, remember, in this case, is did your pet, did your dog or your cat? In this case, is yes, it did. Because, yes, because the question is your pet. No? Yeah, thank you. Solamente cuando la pregunta es did you, dices yes, I did. La pregunta es did your sister, yes, she did. No, she didn't. Did your dad, yes, he did. No, he didn't. If the question is in plural, no, for example, Did your friends go out in the afternoon? Yes, they did. Or no, they didn't. Okay, depends. Depends of the question. Okay, the second question for Emiko. Emiko, please. Did your best friend go out with you last weekend your best friend your best friend yes he did or no he didn't okay ¿Sí? dice si saliste con tu mejor amigo no es lo que dice la pregunta si tu amigo salió no contigo no, he did it. George, please. George. Question for you. Okay, George, tell me. Did you play any sport last week? Oh, very good. Yeah, in this case, it's okay, no? Because the question is, did you? Thank you. Reina, question for you. Did you lose anything this year? Lose means perder. ¿Perdiste algo? Did you lose anything this year? Very good. No, I didn't. Well, maybe not teacher, my cell phone, or a world, or something like that, no? Okay, Stefano, please, question for you. Okay, thank you. Good job. Susana, question for you. Did you watch a TV series last weekend? And tell me which one, the name of the series. Watch it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Owen, please. Owen, question for you. Oh, 
Owen, did you and your family travel last year? In this case, it's yes, we did. No, we didn't. Owen, no? Okay, Maribel, please. Maribel, help us. Did you and your family travel last year? Oh, yes, we did. Thank you. Because you see, it's plural, no? You and your family. Good. Let's see. Alexander, one more time, please. Question for you. Alexander, did you watch this movie, It? Oh, it's a horror movie, no? Okay, Emiko, please. Emiko, one more. Did you go to a Halloween party last weekend? Okay, thank you. Oh, you didn't go to party. Everyone, I, my friends, all my friends, they went, no? so it's not common, but good. Uh, let's see, Reina, please, question for you. Did you learn something new last year? Reina, did you learn something new? Maybe how to draw or how to drive a car? I don't know. Did you learn something new? No, I didn't. Thank you. La pregunta fue, ¿aprendiste algo nuevo? No? Stefano, please, question for you. Did you ask? Yes, read please. Yes, they did. Very good. Because it's in plural. Excellent. Yes, they did. And to finish with Susana, please. Susana, did you go to the cinema this year? Thank you. Oh, for the Fast and Furious movie. That's good. Okay, my friends, as you see, it depends on the question, okay? No siempre va a ser para ti, no, la pregunta. A veces es, did your mom? Yes, she did. Or did your dad? Yes, he did. Or did your dog? Your pet? Yes, it did. Okay, it depends on the question, so it's important to pay attention to that. Okay, my friends, we completed this, no? Remember, in the last conversation we saw, Len and Jim talks about work. Let's watch one more time, okay, to remember this. Let's watch one more time the video. Okay, let's remember, please.
According to the video, please, which of the following are Len and Jim talking about? Oh, very good. They talk about work, studies. Yeah, very good. Also, they talk about the um, after uh, the school, no? At school, what subjects? Talk about studies, good. About family? Very good. No, they didn't. A sport? Yeah. And Tracy? Yeah, as they mentioned, uh, about Tracy Woodstock. Good. Okay, let's continue. Activity B. Tell me, Len, oh, sorry, Jim or Len went to high school. Yeah, very good. Yes, Jim went to high school. Who studied math? Yes, Jim, no, but he didn't get uh, good scores, no? That says, no? Three. Learn about. Lang, yes. Lang worked for radio stations, yes. And who thinks is a very lucky man? Yes. In Jin's opinion, he thinks that Lang is a very lucky man. Because well, it, he used to work in the radio station, but now he's working in Channel TV, you know? He's working also with with the gear. So that's why he says, no? Lucky you. You're a very lucky man. Yeah, that's good. Okay, according to the video, was this, no? Okay, let's continue, okay? Activity C. Let's talk about a little, let's talk about a little about university, your degree, okay? This is a vocabulary, okay? Please, open your microphones. Repeat this, low. Law, business administration, business administration, classical and modern languages. Repeat, please, classical and modern languages. Languages, yes, language. Engineering. Engineering. Medicine. Medicine. Computer science. Computer science. Okay. We are going to use this vocabulary to match here according to what says in each part. For example. I'm studying because I want to be a doctor. Yeah, you see? Please, I need five students, okay? Five volunteers. If you know the answer, raise your hand, please, okay? To participate. As you see, we need five, five students. Okay, Maribel, number two, Frank, number three. Please, more students for the number four, number five, number six. Who wants to participate, please? Okay, Stefano, you the number four. Okay, that is for you. Alexander, number five. And Reina, you the number six. Okay, Maribel, please read the number two. Very good. Continue, please. F 
Frank, you are the number three. You see, this is low, this is lawyer. Low, lawyer. Okay, lawyer means abogado. So, low, lawyer. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Stefano, please, for... Not exactly. Yeah. That is, no? That is the correct. Because the other two words we are going to use in the number five and six. Okay, continue, please. Yeah. See, to be a teacher is not easy, no? You have to study at least something related to that. Classical and modern languages, see? And to finish, please, Reina. Yes, engineering, no? In a company, a factory that makes that create cars. Yeah, that's good. Please, one more time, okay? Repeat, medicine. Computer science. Law lawyer. Law lawyer. Business administration. Classical and modern languages. Engineering. Good. Remember this, okay? Because you are going to use then in a formative. We are going to word that. Remember this vocabulary. Okay. Now, activity D, okay? Let's work with that. When you were at the university, well, some of you, I guess, you are at school. You have to to be a better student, not to be the best student uh, in your courses at class. You have to study more. So we are going to talk about sentences related to that. For example, what do you think is best? I hope I do well on my exam. I hope I pass on my exam. What do you think? Do well means to get good scores, no? I hope, you know, hope means that you expect that. You did the exam, but you are not sure about the results, so you expect that. You want that. I hope that is. And it's good. I do well on my exam. Good. The number two, what do you think is the correct? Very good. Do you know what is get a degree in Spanish? What is this vocabulary? Get a degree. Do you know what is in Spanish? Mm -hmm. Yes. Not necessarily magister, or not necessarily like that. Degree we call, for example, you, are, you finish at high school, so you need a degree. Necesitas un grado más. ¿Cuál sería un grado más? Uh, you have to study at university or an institute to get um, something like a degree, no? Like it depends. Depends of the the career you follow. Depends of that. Okay. But in this case, it's a degree in history. Or in the case of medicine. You get a, like a doctor, 
You see, it depends on the, the career. But that's a degree. But when you're a professional, if you want a degree more, that is your mag magister. You see, one more. Okay, three. Mary didn't. Yeah. Because she didn't study. Good. Four. George was out late last night and didn't. Yes. You see what's was out? Was out is the pass of go out. Okay? Go out, you know, no, you go out. In, in Halloween, for example, many of us, we went out with our friends, with our girlfriends, or wife, husband, I don't know, depends on you. But you went out. You went to a party or something like that. So that is was out. Go out. Late, you see? Very late. Five. Five. Yeah, I failed my English test. What do you think is failed in Spanish? Yeah, but more for exams, when we talk about exams, it's like fallar, like uh, is the opposite of pass. See? Desaprobarse. Fail it. Okay? That is the correct way because we are talking about exams. Okay. You see? Remember, in the last class we talked about this, no? In affirmative sentence, in affirmative, we use fail, fail it. Play, play it. Like, like it. Yes? Affirmative. In negative, we use didn't. Yes, didn't do, didn't pass, I didn't have breakfast, for example, in the morning, so you see, didn't. In questions, we practice in questions, in questions we use, did, and the verb, in questions, is in past or in present? Present tense. Remember, please, this is the grammar, okay? So now let's practice the things we learn because today we are going to finish with pass. Okay, please, let's go to the chat because we are going to practice a quiz in affirmative, in negative, in questions, okay? So please go to the chat. Let's practice, okay, with this. Because then we are going to work in a writing, a short composition. You're going to answer some questions, okay? Please go to the chat. Open that link. Write your names. Let's put in practice the things we learn, okay? That's good, Susana, Stefano, George. Good job.
Very good, Susana. You finish it. Camila, the same. Very good. You finish it too. The rest, please continue. Okay, continue with your activities. Very good, Amico, Alexander, you finish it too. Stefano, that's good. Maribel, good job, you finish it too. Okay, my friends, two minutes more, okay, to finish this activity. Two minutes more, then I am going to close this activity. 
for the ones for the ones who finish it let's go please to the activity e okay try to complete here try to answer Oh, yeah, that's the problem when we studied virtual, no? In the virtual way. It depends a lot of your internet connection. The other option is to, to close, no? Maybe at work, at home, sorry, you, you are not the only person who is using the internet, no? Maybe, I don't know, your brother, your son, someone is using also the internet, and that's why happens that but it depends it depends you have to deal with that okay my friends please just one minute okay frank very good boy good job reina finish please let's go please to the activity e remember remember this I show you this before. Remember this part, okay? The grammar. Ah, what is this? In affirmative way, we change the verb. Yes, we change. In the negative form, we just didn't, but the verb is in present. In question, in interrogative form, we just did, as we practiced before, and the verb also is in present tense. Okay, you have to remember that. You have to recognize when the statement you have in front of you is affirmative, negative, or a question. Well, my friends, let's continue, okay? Activity E. In the one, please, tell me, open your microphones, tell me. Excellent. Did you see? No questions. Good. Number two. I didn't. No. Oh, very good. Me. Did. Very good. Did your brother study computer? Eight. Yes. It says no cake. So eight. Five. Yes, didn't have because the last sentence rock music is so boring, so it didn't happen. Yes, very good. Laura's husband teach law at the university last year. Good, you see, you have to recognize question, negative, question, affirmative. No, you have to recognize that. Okay, activity F, one more. Okay, then the writing. Let's put in practice the things we learn, okay? Tell me. So. Excellent. So, did you go to college after school? Excellent. Yes, I did. Continue. What? What did you study? The answer. Excellent. Major. Teach you what's major. What verb is that? Major is como especializarse, como obtener el degrado, no? That is in Spanish, okay? I major it. Yeah. Continue. When? Very good. When did you get your degree? Got. Very good. I got my degree two years ago. Very good. I didn't. Yes. No, I didn't. Why not? Yes, I hate studying. Yeah, very good. Did you do well in any subject? Yes. Very good. Yes, I passed it. 
like it yes yeah yes past tense no good you see the same you are going to do okay yeah please two volunteers to practice this conversation okay Maribel and Alexander, please first. Then Frank and Camila, okay? First Maribel and Alexander. Speak, please. Very good. Thank you, Maribel. Thank you, Sander. Continue, please. The next, the next two couples. Okay. It was Camila and I don't remember who was the other. Okay. Please practice the conversation. Camila and Stefan, okay? Please. Very good. Okay, let's continue now with the writing part, okay? Ya sabes que te voy a enviar un link, ¿no? Este de acá. Intentas responder. Primero completas tu nombre, ¿no? First, first of all, complete your name. Because the computer asks you that. When you open the link, write your name. Then answer the question. You see, your first name, your last name, and then you enter and answer, please. When you answer this question, please do similar to that conversation you practice it. Make sentence. The one says, did you, do you study or work? Well, in my case, I work, no? What did you study? Oh, you see? What did you study? Igual a la conversación, chicos. Acá tienes el ejemplo, ve? I majored in art history. I measure it in English education, for example. You see? Make sentence, please. And then you continue. When did you get your degree? The same. Similar to this. I got my degree two years ago. Five years ago. Teacher, todavía no saco mi grado. I didn't get my degree. The negative. You see? Try to make sentence, okay? Well, let's go to the chat, please. Tell me about your degree, okay? Degree or if you are studying or not. Please go to the chat. Open the link.
When you finish, enviar, ¿no? Los que ya trabajamos antes conmigo saben que esta plataforma podemos ver las respuestas de todos, ¿no? Todo lo que escribes podemos verlo acá, en tiempo real. Very good, Camila, Diego, Emiko, George, Maribel, Susana is here, ¿no? Owen, Stefano, open the link, please. Write your name. Así puedo saber quiénes también están escribiendo, ¿no? No es que... Oh, excellent, Susana. I study international trade in the institute. That's good. AMD technology, your that's good. I mean, in your case, I studied the past, the past tense, no? I measure it. I studied. I got my my degree in engineering. In medicine, in business, administration, you see, try to use the vocabulary. Very good, Maribel, that's good. Yes. Sí, un, una, así como en el modelo que tienes en la conversación. What did you study? I majored in art history. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I, I majored in... Like, like says, no? in the vocabulary we have... No, no. Oh, classical and modern languages teacher. Oh, I majored in computer science. You see? Use the vocabulary. The question three says, when did you get your degree? When? Yeah, very good, Maribel. Similar to the example, ¿no? Two years ago. I got my degree two years ago. Si todavía no has sacado, puedes decir, I didn't get my degree yet. Or maybe you say, uh, yes, teacher, I got my degree five years ago. See? ¿Sí? Also, it's possible to say in, no? I got my degree in 2020. It's possible also. Very good, Alexander. I like it. Literature, language, English. Yes. Yes. La pregunta es, did you study hard for your exams? Mm, let's see. La cuatro es libre, tienes que escribir. Hay una opción. A ver, déjame ver bien, let's see. Susana o Maribel, let's see. Cuando tú ya lo envías, ya no puedes volver a escribir, obviamente, no, no se puede. Yes, yeah, Susana, no, you finish it. Yeah, have here. Also Owen, that's good. Diego, 
Camila also is good. We can see the answer no, for all your classmates, you see? In the one, for example, did you study? Yes, I study, 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 see? I work. Because we are adults, no? So maybe you both, no? Teacher, I study and I work, yeah? It depends. The second question is, why, what did you study? Math and English, that's good. Three, when did you get your degree? Two years ago, five years ago. I don't have a degree yet. Excellent, Owen. I didn't get a degree, no, Alexander, that's good. Four. Oh yeah, and the four, no, it's not, it's not possible to write. Yeah, the five. What subjects did you like? Yeah, that's good. Math and English, yeah, that's good. Remember, um, recuérdense que cuando escriban subjects tienen que estar en mayúscula también, ¿no? English, history, son sustantivos propios. Art, history, computer science, uh, it depends on the subject. Maths, literature, those are capital letter. Okay, please, let's go to the practice, okay? To the platform. Let's continue with that. Let's go to the activity H. Oh, sorry, activity G. Let's complete this conversation. Activity G. Hi, Rita. Yeah, let's see. You're right. How are you doing? No? Hi, Mari. I have exams at college, so... Yeah, I'm doing the best I can, no? I'm so glad I finished college and I don't need to worry about exams anymore. Yeah, very good. What did you major in? Computer science. I work for a computer company now. Good. You see, this expression means that your work is hard to do. Maybe for to work for people or the long hours or the low pay. Depends, no? Depends, but it's not an easy job, but I like it. Continue. You're so lucky. Anyway, I need to go back to the library. Yes, good luck with your exams. Thanks. Bye. Yeah, that is. And to finish the activity H. Using this information, these clues, let's make sentences obviously using past tense because this year is not 2000. We are in 2023, no? Okay, tell me the sentence, please. George. The first, in order, it's in order, no? But tell me, George, the puzzle finish. Finish at the school, yes. George, school, no? You see, in this year. In 18, oh, in 1983. Good. In 1984, uh, 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 this. He, okay, in 1984, he, in past tense, in past, in past, started college he started college in business administration. Yeah, he started college and got a degree. Oh, he 
measure it, okay? And measure it in this parts. And he measure it in business administration. Okay? Yeah, the next year, 1989. He, the pass of graduate. Tell me, tell me, the pass of graduate. Graduate, okay? Yes, see, look, 19, graduate from college, okay? In 1990, he, one more time, he, the pass of get. Tell me, what is the pass of get? What? Go. Got. His first job. Yes. Tenemos que agregarle algunas palabritas más, porque no, no, no necesariamente es copiarle tal cual, ¿no? He got his first job at the bank. In 1995, he... Very good. Started working as a... Of a small... Company, see, as a manager, as a director. And finally, in 2000, he, yes, he got married. You see, this is the way, in this case, well, we don't know the last name, no, but only says George. You see? All the verbs finish, start, major, graduate, got, must be in pass. Okay? Well, my friends, thanks for coming. Thanks for your attention. Have a nice weekend. Okay? And see you on Monday. Thank you, my friends. Same to you. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. I'm going to close the session, okay? Bye-bye. See you.